In this video, I'd like to talk about how Solid Edge manipulates the view. There are four places where you can get most of your view manipulation commands. The first place is the view bar in the lower right hand corner. The second place is from the mouse itself with the various buttons, the right mouse button menu and the radial menu. Third will be various options that you can find in the Pathfinder. And finally, we'll get some view manipulation commands from the Solid Edge ribbon itself. Let's go through these areas one by one. First, the view bar has some commonly used tools such as zoom area, zoom in and out, zoom to fit, alt F. You can also pan and rotate. Rotate can also be achieved by dragging the middle mouse button. So you hold down the middle mouse button and drag the mouse. There's a command for getting back to the sketch view for when you're in a sketch, and that has a default hotkey of Control H, and the view orientation box. This allows you to mouse over various views and preview what they'll look like. You can also save custom views where the view angle and the zoom state are saved. And then the zoom scale slider allows you to zoom in and out. This uses the center of the screen as the center of zoom. But you can also achieve this with the scroll wheel on your mouse. And it's going to use the mouse pointer as the center. Now we move to the commands that are available from the mouse. We've already mentioned middle mouse button drag for rotate and scroll wheel for zoom. But there are also several view type commands that are available from the right mouse button menu. For example, zoom area, zoom fit, fit, pan, rotate. The common views functionality brings up this small box that allows you to select on different faces of the model or on the arrows that allow you to rotate the model. This works very much like the view cube, but the view cube is always available. You can get to the common views command through the right mouse button menu. Another one that you may want to know is the keyboard shortcut Alt F5 for previous view. Also, the keyboard will allow you to rotate the view. Here's a summary of all the mouse and keyboard shortcut tools. Pause the video and screen capture this to keep it handy. Included in the view manipulation will be the show and hide commands, show all, and hide all. The show hide all component entry in the right mouse button menu isn't to show or hide the components, but it allows you to show various types of entities within the components. So showing surfaces from individual parts or curves or PMI dimensions can all be handled from this dialog box. The radial menu is available by holding down your right mouse button and it by default has a couple of view tools on it such as zoom area and zoom. But by using the customization tools you can customize which tools are on the radial menu. If you set the view tools up on the inner ring they can act as commands controlled by gestures. Options from the Pathfinder also allow you to turn on or off various components using the check marks in the Pathfinder. You can right click on a part in the view and scroll to will find that part for you in the Pathfinder. Zoom to will find it for you in the graphics window. Also from the Assembly Pathfinder, we have the standard show, hide, show all, hide all, isolate, tools that you are already familiar with. Finally, in the View tab of the ribbon, there are several familiar commands, but also some that you may not be familiar with. For example, Look at Face enables you to click on a face of a part, and Solid Edge will swing the view normal to that face. Spin About will allow you to rotate the model based on a selected face. And in this case, we can use the steering wheel to rotate the model in a controlled way. 
Also from the ribbon, we have the refresh view command and the previous view, which we mentioned before is Alt F5. We can also change the quick view cube settings from these icons. The quick view cube should be intuitive and easy to use. You can click on a face to square up the view to that particular face. You can use one of the arrows to rotate or one of the corners to get an isometric view. You can click on an edge or you can bring it back to the home view which is an isometric. The view tab also allows us to toggle the display mode for the model so we can view it in wireframe, visible with hidden edges, visible edges only, shaded with no edges, or shaded with edges. You can also manage colors in a couple of different ways. The color manager is one of them. One of the easier methods is to use the panes to show the style palette and you can drag a style off the palette and drop it onto a part. Makes it easy and quick to change colors to help you visualize the model. Another type of visualization is the ability to open new windows and each new window that you open will create a tab. You can switch back and forth between these tabs very easily. You can also create a new floating window and take this floating window outside of the application window. You can even place it on a separate monitor if you have that available to you. Or you can use this button to switch between windows that are currently open. This is the same as using control tab to switch between windows. You can also set up section views in the 3D model. Solid Edge calls this clipping and to, to do this you start off by setting up a clipping plane and then you can drag the location of the clipping plane and you can even set up a second clipping plane and cut the model. The section view or clipping can be turned on and off easily from the ribbon. There's one more type of view I want to talk about and that will be found on the tools tab in the environs area and this is the ERA which is explode, render, and animate. This tool will allow you to explode parts in an assembly which can be done automatically or manually. Let's try the auto explode and just tell it to explode. you can get out of the exploded view just by closing the ERA. Thanks for watching.